Oh, what? Wow, I got a lead clue. Let's check out this master clue, man. Ah, oh, well. that That's okay, you know. So this is all of the Zora scales that I have left, about 38k. And I don't have any more Zora unique leftovers that I can dismantle for scales. I've used them all up. So once this stack is gone, yep, it's time to go back to Zora. But honestly, I'm not going to wait till I get to zero because that would suck. I'm just going to actually start grinding Zora again every now and then, I guess, to upkeep my Zora skills. I want to keep it you know, in a nice healthy number just in case. And I haven't done Zora since they nerfed it. So I really am probably not going to be enjoying the drops as much. But the Zora skills and the unique items that it drops hasn't changed. And that's the main things I'm going for because, you know, it's all about the scales at this point. But recently, they also increased the amount of Zora teleports that you get per drop from Zora from 1 to 4, which is huge. That means I can actually start using my Solandra teleports, you know, pretty generously and I won't have to worry about running out. Alright guys, got a greater necro and it is dead. Alright, finished another totem top, but uh, no sign of that. Elusive ass heart. So I'm gonna be using uh, Lunars for the Zora grind, just so I can use Vengeance to speed up the kills a bit. And normally you would use something like a home tab or a crafting cape to get your house if you're on Lunars, but I don't have a lot of home tabs and I don't have 99 crafting. But there's another way, there's a third way that is pretty damn cool. So you can actually go to your house using a fair ring. And the closest one I got is with the Legends Cape, so it's actually pretty easy to get back to my house. So, yeah, if I do want to recharge, you know, while I'm on Lunars doing Zora, I can just use my Quest Cape. Serpentine Fistridge! Hey, that's awesome, man. That's what I want. That's uh, over 10,000 plus skills. I don't remember the exact number, but yeah. Really nice. Although not much use now anymore, but uh, in terms of scale use, good stuff, man. Alright, so I just did a uh, quick 8 kill this trip. And I haven't banked anything, so I just want to see what it's like. This is not a true representation though, because, you know, 8 kills isn't going to really show me an average. But whenever I usually price check these 8 sets, you know, before the nerf, it was like anywhere from 700k to like a mil. So 500k is not too bad. Alright, I think this is another 8 kills. Let's examine. So, uh, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's still around 500k. Okay. So it's very consistent still. Oh, what? My last kill of the day. I get an elite clue scroll. Okay. Okay, we must be uh, nearing 60th master clue, but uh, can we keep the unique items going? Oh, unfortunate. Well, I'm one off 60. Hmm. See if I can find these bets on my last few searches. Oh, I did. Nice. These are free points. Bats give uh, an extra like 1200 points or something if you can find them. Damn, dude. Abyssal Demons at 250. That's maxed out. I don't think I've ever gone a uh, fully maxed out task at 250 before. But that's kind of cool. So, wrapping up on that 250 Abyssal Demon task and uh, with further testing with the Preserve Prayer, man, it is crazily good. So, just for a comparison, for a size of this task for Absolute Demons, I usually use around three full super combats. I don't have to use three full potions anymore. I use two potions in one dose, so I save three. We're approaching 21 million Slayer experience, and there it is. So ever since I started in Bihar Grant, about 14 million experience, I've gained 7 million Slayer experience. And all 7 mil Slayer experience, almost all of it, is exclusively from tasks that give superior. So I haven't really done much tasks at all that doesn't. So yeah, it's crazy, dude. Just pure XP for the MB Heart grind. What the hell? Oh my god, two Dark Bowls? Yo, I just went to brush my teeth. And I come back and I see two Dark Bowls? In one spot. What the fuck? How'd that even happen? Yo, this guy, dude, they could have picked it up. I guess they never noticed because they were kind of AFK or something, too. Ah, man, that that's nice, dude. Crazy, though. 
absolutely crazy moment of RNG. Killed this guy, and uh, hope for the best. Here we go, guys. Fingers crossed. Here goes nothing. Oh man. Hey, nice. Got a black mass drop from this cave hard test. You don't get these tests often, but you know they are the superior giving tasks. So, and uh, yeah, still very nice price. Hey, almost 800k still, dude. Back when I camped for these, when old school came out, you know, they were still about this price. Interesting. There we go. I got another nine totems stacked up. So, time to collect the rewards from them. First kill. What we get? Nice. Nice. Got. Oh, yes. Got my first ever dark claw drop. A. Hey. And the elite clue scroll. Oh man, that's very nice. I. Uh, Unfortunately, I'm not gonna spend the points though to make that helmet because yeah, it costs a thousand, but That's not bad, you know, it's a nice collector's item. I, I suppose I Got about six kills from Skultizo Never really price checked, you know, Skultizo, so I wonder how much money what's in six kills, dude I made 800k. That's that's insane. This is a master clue number 60. I think Oh Wait a minute. What is that? A left eye patch? Oh my god. Is that the- No, that's definitely not the one from Bandos, is it? I don't think it is. Oh, the Bandos is the right one, but why can't I store it? What? Why doesn't it fit anywhere? You guys might think I've lost aggro at this place, but no, I just got here like 10 seconds ago. But from what I've noticed though, over uh, time, this safe spot is pretty broken because these Karas can literally get like right here look look at this they can be right next to me and they won't notice me it's weird so it's so good and honestly you also uh, can pick up your stuff faster as well so instead of going here like I see a lot of people doing this is such a better spot overall I'm getting really close to 170 so Jesus this is loot heart this imbue heart is just so elusive but uh, yeah let me just check should be really close oh my god just two off yep to 170 all right first kill finishing up the few tones I have left from yesterday all right what we get oh yes nice got elite clue and the hard so I think I'm gonna do the elite clues instead of masters for a bit just because they made the elites a lot shorter five to seven steps instead of like the 10 to 12 so it's actually bearable now and also I just want to see if I can get that new teleport master book thingy crazy five step elite clue dude I felt like I was just doing a hard clue type of length so let's check it out man <laughs> wow okay that was pretty bad damn dude another elite clue sick all right gonna try a second one second elite clue of the day super quick another five stepper check it out Oh, whoa, Master Clue 2 and Dark Tuxedo Cuffs? Really? Oh, that's cool, man. Damn, these things are worth a lot. Nice, and the Master Clue, man, to boot as well. Cool. Didn't even know that this was a, a reward. Might be new or something. Okay, well, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm going to need, like, a set for this or something. So, just put it in the bank, I guess, for now. Okay, uh, number... Th Four? <gasps> oh my god, I actually did get an item. <laughs> oh my god. I saw Ancestral, but it was a hat. Fuck me, dude. Oh, boys. Three hats and three tops. And then a shitty arm skirt, yeah. Oh, uh, well, yeah, yeah, I just broke a small dry streak. I was, I was about 50 a stride, that one. But yeah, in the, the most recent 200... 200 like 30 raids I've gotten three items So uh, I'm still really far behind in, in recent drops, so I think we can uh, start getting some items soon though All right, good luck. Oh My god <laughs> Yo, that's number eight bro or some shit Yo, how much is this nowadays? 65 right. Yeah, that's money Nice to see items, you know, coming in close to each other again, honestly. 
If you guys remember, I recently broke a dry streak at raids with Dragon Claws, so I was 147 raids dry before the uh, next items, which was the claws. And from that point on, I have gotten my third ancestral top, uh, the ancestral hat, my third one as well, and the dexter scroll shortly after that. So that's in a span of 240 raids. And pretty much 80, I would say 90% of those 240 raids, the most recent ones, were all solos, averaging around 31,000 points. So with that many points, it's about a 1 in 25 chance to uh, get an item of any raids item, okay? And what that means is, in 230 raids with those points, on average, I would have gotten about 9 items, but I've only gotten 4. But then again, I did get lucky uh, pretty early on with quite a bit of items. But yeah, at least going forward though in these most recent 200 plus, I just haven't been able to get that much out of raids. So hopefully the raids luck can return again because I'm definitely lacking in the raids luck right now. Also we got a superior. Uh, well, it didn't drop anything good. So anyways, I'm going to be wrapping up with today's video here guys. I'm almost at 700 raids KC. Also closing in on about 170 uh, superior KC right now. So yeah, in terms of the grind for the be hard and more race items, it's, it's going super strong right now. Hopefully next episode I can show you some more lootations. But anyways, if you're new to the series and want to stay up to date, feel free to subscribe. That way you'll know exactly when the next progress video will come out. And other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. As usual, hope you guys enjoy the video. And hope to see you soon with another one in a few days. Take care.